All right, thanks for joining me. We're going to do a quick demo of Batch Patch. I'm going to go ahead and install updates across approximately 20 machines. Actually, we'll use 15. Now we can use 20. Um, and what we'll do is just install specific updates on these machines rather than installing everything that's available. Uh, what I've done here is just launch our .bps file which contains 15 hosts and I said 20 because we actually have 20 set up for this test so let me go ahead and just manually add the rest and then we have 20 okay so we have our 20 hosts here we would normally start by just checking for available updates let's go ahead and do that And we can just watch as Batch Patch reaches out to all of these target computers and initiates a search for available updates. While this is going, let me go ahead and show you some of the options that we have here for searching. I went to Tools and Settings, and we have our Remote Agent Preferences. So at the moment, we're just searching for software updates on these target computers. And uh, but what we could do if we wanted would be we could also search for drivers or we could mimic Microsoft Update and the way it delivers updates and it gives us the option for important updates and recommended updates um, but for now we'll just go back to our software updates okay and what we have now is it looks like our search is done across these 20 machines and we have four updates available on each I'm going to just middle click on this remote agent log column and it shows us for this machine, Coco 2008 Membo 1, we have uh, four updates available. And we can see the various properties here. These are security updates. This one is a critical update. And uh, the next thing we would do is go ahead and uh, choose to install updates. In this case, I wanted to show you how you would, rather than install all the available updates, which we could do easily with just a single click, we're going to instead choose, let's just say, one of these updates to install. Um, in this case, let's do this critical update, this KB2798162. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy that value just with Control C. And we're going to come back over here and I'm going to come to Windows Updates. We're going to create, modify the list of specific updates for download and installation. And we'll throw that update in here by name. And click OK. So now what we've done is we basically set this so that anything that we do uh, it, with regard to installing or downloading updates now is only going to apply to apply to this download install list, which right now contains just one item, and that's this KB number. Uh, so again, we'll go ahead here, right click Windows Updates. I'm going to say Install Downloaded Updates plus Reboot if required, and we're going to this will just install just the single update that we listed. Uh, actually, no, well, let's do download and install updates because I didn't forget if these were actually downloaded already. Yes, downloaded, false. So these are actually not downloaded. So we'll go ahead and do download and install plus reboot if required. And it starts going. Remember, it's just going to install that single update that we have listed here on each of these machines. And let's watch it. So as you can see, it's moving pretty quickly here. In fact, we're uh, almost done. Again, this is just because we chose one update. And if we middle click on one of these rows while it's active, it shows us where we are with that particular update.
then we'd see batch patch has already begun to reboot these computers because they are requiring a reboot after that installation. By the way, you don't have to allow batch patch to automatically resize itself. As you see, you know, it it resized automatically and I moved it back into the center of the screen. Um, in our tools and settings menu you can disable that if you don't want it to automatically open columns for you and automatically resize the window but typically it's pretty convenient to let it auto size uh, as needed so all these machines have been rebooted we can see the ping windows here none of them has actually uh, gone offline yet and now because we're dealing with a virtual machine environment here this is actually set up on Windows Azure for any of those who have familiar with that familiarity with that, um, we we might get very rapid reboots because virtual machines sometimes can reboot within just a couple seconds. So let's see what happens with that. There we go. These are already coming back online. We use the blue to indicate that the machine has come back online after X number of pings that were timed out, and you can set that timeout timeout thresh threshold also in tools and settings and that's just a visual indicator it helps us to know what what we can see sometimes in a virtual machine environment is a machine might reboot so rapidly that it uh, it beats our timeout threshold and so we don't see it turn blue in those cases but here it looks like everything is working as it should While that last one's finishing up, last couple finishing up, we can also see our remote agent log column again here. I'm going to middle click on number two, and I'm going to right click just to drag this into the view. And this shows us what happened. This was our search. We found these four updates. But we filtered the collection, and this was filtered based on the fact that we were only choosing to install the single update, which was this KB2798162. So that got added and then we skipped the other four, other three. We finished filtering here, we begin the download operation next and we only download the single update. We then begin the installation process here and it succeeded and the reboot required property is true so BatchPatch went ahead and it initiated a reboot for us. <clears throat> Just click off of that to make that window go away and now we're done. We see we have these blue indicators to tell us that the reboot was complete. These pings automatically stopped. Again, that's set set up uh, for us in our tools and settings. The way that we control what automatically stops when uh, when a ping is complete. And there you have it. So that's a good example of a batch patch installing Windows updates on 20 machines all remote computers. Uh, in this case, we just chose to install a single update. Thanks for joining me.